So, so uh, what study have you done about um, starting and, and marketing a business? Um, I've been reading, well, our trade magazines talk about how to do different things. I've been reading your, your, your blog and your, your information as far as, um, well, you, you're the only one that does the opposite. Everyone else says you need social media to market. You, you know, you say traditional marketing works better, you know, so it's, I'm just, I guess, confused as to which method. I know I should do both, but which method do I do first or do I do a combination of them? And if so, what's, what do I do? So, well, well, uh, think of it this way. There are three important things in, mm -hmm. in marketing. First of all, identifying your target market. Okay. Uh, and you might have several different target markets. Okay. That's the most important thing, identifying who you want as customers and just as importantly, who you do not want as customers. Okay. The next thing, uh, and there are only three things you need to, that everything comes under these three headings, everything comes under these three headings. Okay. So your target market, who you want and who you don't want, uh, the message that you want to deliver to that target market, in other words, your story, your offers, etc. Um, and then once you've identified your market and you've developed your message, what media do you use to deliver that message or those messages to those particular target markets? Okay. So there is no such thing as only social media or only traditional media. Okay. But they all work. Okay. Um, thinking that it's all about social media is coming at it from the, from the wrong end. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so the, you, you need to develop what your target markets are and what your uh, unique message is to those target markets. Okay. And then the media will, that you use will sort itself out. Now, you know, social media is just another publishing platform. It has particular peculiarities about it and and techniques about it, but so do all forms of media. Okay. Um, uh, you don't use the same techniques when you're advertising in a newspaper as you do when you're advertising on an online platform. Okay. Um, but the principles of message to the right market are the same. Okay. So, um, the first thing you need to do is to be visible for people who are looking for a nail technician in your local area. Okay. Now, uh, in those circumstances, those people who are looking for a nail technician in your particular area are using Google. They used to use the yellow pages years ago. Right. Right. Uh, but now they, but now Google is the, is the new yellow pages. So you need to be visible for people doing a search in your area. Okay. So we can, we can do that. Um, uh, we can do a little test on that um, by simply going to Google and I'll share my screen with you so you can see what I'm doing. What part of Illinois are you in? Um, Oak Brook Terrace. Okay. So we look for nail tech Oak Brook Terrace. Yeah. Yep. And we go, there we go. So what we find, um, these three here are going to get 91% of the business according to Google. Okay. Because on, on a, on a cell phone, you will have a click to call button. Right. And Google measures the number of people who click that button. So we know because we look after so many um, hair and beauty businesses with their online presence, we, we know exactly how many of those phone calls are generated by that search. So to be found, you've got to be up here. Okay. 91% of people only use the first three. 9% of people go into more places. Okay. You got to be in there. So that these things are called Google my business listings. Okay. Okay. So are you in there? Um, 
I am not. Okay. So that's a problem. Okay. You've, you've got to be in that top three. And first of all, you've got to have a Google My Business listing because okay. it's, like, it's like being in business 20 years ago. And if you didn't have a Yellow Pages listing, you weren't going to be found. Okay. Right? Yes. So those, those are called Google My Business listings. They're like a little um, standalone website of their own. Okay. Google gives you one for free, but you've got to set it up and optimize it for search results. Okay. Okay. Now, if you need help with that, we do that day in, day out for businesses all over the world. Okay. Um, so that's, that's being found. Once you're found and they, they either call you or they go through to your website, then you need your website set up properly to either get a phone call or to capture the name and contact details of people who are interested in what you sell so that you can market to them afterwards. Okay. Yeah. So let's have a look at your, your website. I can tell you it's not set up properly. Be, say again. I said, I can tell you it's not set up properly. Let, let's I, have I, a look. Are okay. you telling me that? I, I can tell you that. <laughs> can you see my screen? I can, yes. Can you see your website? Yes. Okay. So people come to your website, yeah? Yes. Now, if, they, if, they, if they're interested in what you sell, remember that 80% of them are on a cell phone. So they get a little tiny screen. Mm -hmm. And the most wanted response for you is a phone call to book an appointment, yeah? Yes. Okay. So they're on a tiny little screen and they go, oh, there's your phone number. Mm, can't click on it. Okay. That's a problem because on a little tiny phone screen, you don't want to force people to have to remember your phone number, then go to their phone app and then dial the number. Okay. You want to make them just click the, the number and call you. Okay. If they don't call you, the next most wanted response is for, you, for them to give you their name and contact details. And there are ways of doing that you can install on your website some sort of name capture device so that when they fill it in, uh, you get an email with their details. Okay. I'll give you an example. Here's one of the hundreds of websites we've built. Mm -hmm. uh, this is for a salon in New Zealand. You'll see here free $25 gift voucher for new clients. Okay. When they fill that form in, they get an email and you get an email or this salon owner gets an email with their, uh, with their details in it. So if I go to download that um, gift voucher, I've got to put in my name and contact details. Okay. Yeah? Yes. I so understand. That, that, that's a, that's a, a simple technique um, for capturing names and contact details. I'll give you an, another example. Here's one here that we built for a, a a salon in Australia and you'll see on the right hand side there get your free $20 gift voucher uh -huh. now 900 people have filled in that form in the last 12 months okay that's a lot of business she's turned two three four hundred of them into clients okay so that's different than offering discount correct because you you're just getting someone to come into the door by giving them an offer that they feel validated for giving their information yeah um, so it's like a gift it's like a gift more or less it's a gift um yes. the gift the the benefit for you is you get to sit in front of them for an hour mm -hmm. and sell to them okay yeah okay so the purpose of getting see most businesses think that the purpose of getting a customer is to make a sale the smart business owners realize that the purpose of making a sale is to get a customer for the long term. Right. Yeah. Yep. So that's the purpose of getting, um, getting a making even, even if it's a non-profit sale mm -hmm. the purpose is you, you need to know your numbers. What is a, a long-term client worth to you in one year? So in right. your business, somebody comes in to have their nails done every mm, don't know, six weeks. About three, depending on what service. So every three weeks, two to three weeks. weeks. Okay. So you work out over a period of 12 months, somebody coming mm -hmm. in every three weeks, what is that going to be worth to you? 
a lot more than zero. <laughs> um, 30, well, let's just say they spend the average forty, fifty dollars. Yeah, that's substantial. Well, let's let's do the numbers. They come in every um, three weeks, um, uh, so they're coming in fifteen to twenty times a year. Right. Uh, times forty dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, that's uh, seven hundred bucks. Right for one person. Mm. Yeah, that's what I said. Substantial. How many twenty dollar gift vouchers are you going to give away? Right. As many right. as you possibly can. Exactly. Exactly to create yeah. that that ongoing cycle. So look, let me ask you this because I don't know if you guys have this where you're at, but. Um, Is it better? Do you guys have Groupon and Living Social and those type of things? All okay. of that sort of stuff, yeah. Okay, so, and I'm not ready to do this, but it's just for future reference. Is that a good way to market as well or to just continue to do the be found and do the $20 or $25 voucher or whatever? Well, well, both, but with, with Groupon and, and similar daily deal um, sites, they tend to attract people who are only after the cheap deal. Okay. Okay. Uh, what what you want to do is attract people who are after value, not necessarily okay. price. Correct. Okay. okay. Yep. So uh, you're far better off if you can give away a twenty dollar gift voucher to get a customer for the long term, than just to get a daily deal customer who is only on the lookout for the next cheap deal. Okay. Understood. Okay. Um, so as far as like you guys doing the website and all that, and I know I heard someone that has a marketing membership with you, what's the, what, how does that work and what's the cost associated with that? We build hundreds of websites for salons, salons and spas. Mm -hmm. um, they vary in price from a couple of thousand dollars through to five, ten thousand okay. dollars, depending on complexity and whether you want shopping carts and etc. Okay. Uh, the primary purpose of a, uh, a, a website only has three primary purposes. One of them is to be found by people who are searching. The second one is to get phone calls for appointments. And the third one is to capture names and contact details of people you can market to later. Okay. They're the only three things. The rest of it is air and fluff and pretty pictures. Okay. Okay. If they don't do those three things, it doesn't matter how glamorous the website is, mm -hmm. how sexy it is, it's pretty much useless. Okay. So you don't build websites to stroke your own ego, you build them to be functional. Okay. Okay, so we, yeah. we, we do lots of those. Um, so that, that's, you, that's your online purpose of creating a target market and building a list. Okay. Okay you still need to concentrate on what your unique selling proposition is. Right. Um, and really the, the story is about you, the owner of the business, Janine. Okay. So what most businesses make the mistake of doing and your website looks like it does a similar thing mm -hmm. is to hide behind the, 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 the name of the business, if you like, Okay. Rather than saying, I, my name's Janine, I'm the greatest nail tech in, in Illinois. Um, here's my story, here's my video, um, here's my blog, um, here's me on my social media platforms, etc. So at the moment, all your, all your website does is look like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of other websites. Okay. It's not about, unfortunately, it's not about you, where it, is, it should be about you. Okay. Because, see, people want to do business with people. They don't want to do business with some kind of faceless entity. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, you get that story right and you start telling that story. Um, it's about um, uh, what we call know, like, and trust. Okay. People can know and like and trust you over time because you are front and center. Okay. So you need to think about rebranding the entire business and make it Janine Jackson's G spot studio. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Understood. 
Now, once you've developed that story, then it's easier to um, sell special offers um, to your target market, to both your customers and your prospective customers. Okay. Because they know you. Right. I get it. I understand. I mean, you saying that resonate with how I look online and do business with people and what I look for when I'm shopping. So I understand 100%. Understood. Then once you've done all those things, then the media becomes obvious. So obviously um, uh, online media is easy to tell a story because you've got, you know, this, this is one of the most powerful marketing tools you you've got. Right. Right. You can go live on, on video, have your own TV channel, essentially Mm -hmm. any time of the day you like. Okay. And you can talk to your customers from your heart mm-hmm. and, and your prospects from your heart, just doing live videos. Okay. Now that doesn't mean that other forms of media aren't useful as well. You know, for example, if you had people signing up on your website for a, a, a gift voucher, you could then set up a series of automatic emails to them that are triggered by them filling in that form. Okay. And that go that you could send out emails every week. Right. Um, you can get them to join your um, Facebook business page. You can get them to um, uh, follow you on Instagram. Okay. Right. You can always say tag me on Instagram or follow me on Instagram and you get $5 sure. or whatever. Yeah, I get it. Sure. Yeah. Um, uh, you, you can you can do a lot of things with that media, but you've still got to work out before you use the media what your message is, who you are, what your story is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now, so obviously, obviously, you need tools to do all of that. Right. Um, uh, you need you need uh, uh, you need to be able to know how to set up your uh, uh, social media platforms correctly to. Um, carry that message. Mm-hmm. There's a bunch of uh, tricks and techniques to do that properly. Um, uh, while you're doing that, there are other things you can be doing in the in the business to market to your existing customers. Okay. You can do a lot of things. You can you can uh, if you've got a list of regular customers, uh, you can. We've got membership programs where. Uh, uh, one membership program is uh, they they're debited every week a small amount from a credit card, and they can come in as often as they like. Mm-hmm. Um, we've got another membership program where people pay a year's worth of services up front for a discount, but you're getting the cash up front. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like there's, that. Yeah, there, there's a bunch of things you can do, but it requires you to to do some study and to actually use the tools that that are available to you. Okay. So essentially what I'm talking about, Janine, is um, you need to become a marketer of what you do, not just a doer of what you do. Mm -hmm. Because the money is in the marketing of the thing, not the doing of the thing. Right. And we've got uh, example after example uh, of members who have used our services for 10, 15 years Mm-hmm. where they have, for, for one reason or another, sickness or injury, have been forced off the tools okay. and made more money. Right. Because they've been forced to concentrate on marketing the business, not doing the, the actual donkey work. Okay. <laughs> so that's where you probably need to be. Okay. So what do I need to do or what do I get the tools from? Or how do I, what, how is that the... Forty-seven dollars a month, or is that something else? Oh. Well, we 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 have um, a massive library, a, a resources library um, for salons and spas, where we have hundreds of marketing um, pieces, uh, online and offline, uh, graphics for social media, um, flyers, templates, etc. Uh, you can test drive that for one dollar. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, if you wish to stay after that, it's uh, Australian forty-seven dollars a month, about US thirty-five dollars a month, mm-hmm. and you can leave whenever you like. 
So you can we update that library regularly. Uh, that members. I signed up for it. I did, but I didn't know if that's what that was. If that's cool. Yeah. So you've got yeah. that. So that's the client attraction system. Right. Right. Yeah. You've got that. Um, uh, we have a marketing manual, a complete manual. Um, the it's called this one here. It's called Simple Salon Marketing. Okay. It's about three hundred pages. It's the how and why of direct response marketing for um, uh, the hair and beauty industry. Okay. So you've got the tools in the library, in the client attraction system, all of the mm -hmm. templates. The manual is how to use them essentially. Understood. Okay. And that's 199 Australian dollars downloadable instantly. Okay. Um, we have a services division which builds and optimizes websites and sets up Google business listings. Uh huh. Yep. So you have that available to you as well. Okay. Um, it, the, but that's the you said from one to that's the one to five thousand six thousand dollars for the website process, right? To to build one from scratch, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, it depends on how complex you want to make it, but um, a simple uh, website that has um, five to ten pages mm -hmm. and it's set up, uh, optimized correctly um, for Google searches is some, it, it, it's somewhere between two and three thousand dollars, depending on how many pages you have. Okay. But that's also spread over a couple of months because it takes a couple of months to build it properly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we, we, we generally take a 30% deposit to put it into the production schedule. Uh, and then uh, another 30% after one month, and then the remainder um, a month later when the website goes live. Okay. Um, but more importantly, you need to set up your Google business listing. So we do that for six ninety five. Okay. Um, takes a couple of weeks to get it set up properly. And that means you need to supply a bunch of photos, which I'm sure you can do. Okay. Uh, so there's some of the, the tools you have access to. Okay. Okay. So has all of that been useful? Uh, tremendously, tremendously. Because um, I think I signed up, well, I've been watching you for a while, but I signed up this past weekend for the access to it. Um, and, you know, as I was reading the book, it was like, um, click here for the 30 minute marketing conversation. And I'm like, okay, this should be fun, you know, will help me. Because like I said, on your website, you know, I know hair beauty, it all comes together, but you know, you show more examples of how to market hair and massage, you know, th different things like that. So it's like, if I could kind of, hone in, you know, cause it's more than turning the words around to say, you know, for nails versus that, you know, cause even trying to come up with, cause I think you had one for skin, you offer, I think 199 for a year membership, but you get all these other offers for us. So just trying to figure out, okay, if I did something like that, maybe not 199 or I don't know, maybe it is 199, you know, but what else can I offer, you know, that wouldn't take away from what I'm offering, you know what I mean? Cause then I get it that it will be repeat business. And um, it, it, they will bring other people in as well, you know, and even if it's just that one time, oh, well, we only offer that membership during the month of May, you know, but maybe, I don't know, I get enough people asking about it. Maybe I offer it, you know, in July because I got enough attraction for it to be offered again. So I've, I've picked up a lot, you know, in the last two days, been reading and not going to sleep, trying to figure it out. Because again, I need to, you know, there's a lot of, I guess it's kind of easy what, I shouldn't say that, but it is kind of easier with hair and with skin that people are more um, kind of creatures of habit. Whereas with the nails, they'd be like, oh, I can go right here, you know, to the $10 salon and get the same service, which you really don't. You know, so like you said, it goes back to what you said about finding the customers that looks for value in what they're getting and appreciate the value that they're getting and willing to pay for it, you know. So. And that comes down a great deal to you selling yourself as the go-to person. Right. So it's putting you front and center of the business. Right. 
yeah. then people will want to do business with you as against any of the competition. Okay. Understood. Yep. I get it. I mean, like I said, um, talking with you has helped me see those, you know, clarify those things. So now I just got to, you know, find a budget to figure out how to get everything else that we talked about, you know, in place so I can reposition myself to be found on Google and click on numbers and all that kind of stuff. First thing is you get your um, Google business listing set up properly. Right. Um, that means at least you can be found. Okay. Um, then your website can be tweaked later to okay. put you in there. Okay. In the meantime, study like mad. Get the manual, the simple salon marketing manual. If 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 uh, you are you a reader? I am. Uh, right. Yeah. Yes. Great. Well, it's a very simple thing to read and it clarifies everything. Keep going back to it. Okay. The principles of marketing any small business are exactly the same. Okay. The content you put into it is different from business to business. But the principles are exactly the same. Okay. Target market, message to that market, the media you use to deliver that message to that market. Okay. Understood. I understand 100%.